back at it again with the UN Q&A. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Anna Mae and today I'm going to be doing my second Q&A on my UN internship. So if you're completely new here, I'm Anna Mae and I completed an internship at UNHQ in New York from January until June of this year. Although it's not actually the chosen topic of my channel, it's definitely the thing that I get the most questions about. I'm definitely more of a like style, lifestyle, fashion, makeup kind of person, uh, or kind of that's the content I like to make. I also enjoy making content like this and political type videos and opinion type things. Sorry if you can hear my dog moving in the background. She grumbles a lot, she's old. Um, and yeah, I get a lot of questions about my UN internship and I totally understand why, because it is kind of interesting. And I would say a couple of years ago, I would have been really interested to find something like this. And also to kind of, I'll touch on it in this video, but that it doesn't have to be all consuming. Um, that's something that I've kind of, I never thought I'd be able to do something like this uh, or like what I did because I wasn't focused enough. Um, but that's not the case. So yeah, maybe I will talk about that in another video, but let's get into the questions that you are asking. If you are totally new here, I'll give you a bit of background. I'm 22, I studied politics and information and social computing in University College Dublin. That was a degree done in three years, it's a BA. And then I worked in retail for eight months and then I moved to New York for my internship. And that's a whole another deeper story there, but that is the Cliff Notes version. Um, there's a lot more kind of like information stuff on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at anime.yt. So let's actually get into the questions now that I got all rambly. Identity crisis. So some of these questions I've touched on in my other videos. Um, so definitely check out, I'll link, I think, is it easiest? I'll link it in the cards. Uh, my UN internship playlist and I'll link some of the videos at the end and uh, in the cards throughout this video. But I've definitely talked about these things before and I think one or two of these questions I've touched on in my previous Q&A. I also have a blog post of the Q&A and I will do the same for this in case English is not your first language and you or else you just prefer to read things or it's easier for you to translate it in that way. Um, so I will do a blog post of this as well and that'll be linked down below. So first question, do you get paid? No. Uh, no UN interns get paid. I've touched on that before. That's something that's like a very big topic. It's a hot topic right now um, in US Congress. They've been talking about that a lot, but uh, I have a pretty strong feelings about it. And um, yeah, you do not get paid. There are ways they say that you can get sponsorships from people, but I think some people will have their like their, if it's like a fellowship or something from your university, if you're on scholarship or something like that, they'll like pay you, they'll give you a stipend if it's an unpaid internship, but that was not the case for me, obviously, because I was graduated at the time. Uh, no, you're not paid at all. So how qualified do you need to be? Most of this information, if it's not from my own experience, it can be found online. I get asked a lot of questions that I don't answer 100% of, and I'm really sorry. It's because I don't see them for a couple of weeks and then I'll see it. And, you know, by Googling the question, you probably would have found out. So apologies for that, but, it can kind of be stressful. I get asked a lot of questions every day. Um, but people asking me, are they qualified enough to do it? So there are some basic standards for the UN. So you need to be either enrolled in a master's or a PhD program, or you need to be in your final year of a bachelor's degree or within a year of graduating, like since graduating from a bachelor's master's or a PhD. So I was within a year of graduating from a bachelor's degree and that's how I was qualified. But uh, if you are like a second or second year, you know, in university, no, you are not able to get an internship. You also need to have what they say, good command of English or French. So you need to just have very strong English or French. Uh, I don't speak French and I don't speak Spanish. Um, I only do Irish, German and English obviously. I had English, I was lucky in that way. That is also another requirement as well as you can't be a sibling or a child of secretariat staff, I believe. 
So I have gotten asked quite a few times, obviously these questions are like compiled from the most commonly asked questions. Some of them are individual ones and some of them people did ask but I didn't really think were relevant or that informative. Um, but when I get that, I don't know how I would know the answer to, but people ask what department takes the most interns and which is the easiest department to get into and like which is the hardest to get into. I have no idea. How would I know that? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. Um, I would say just kind of use your logic. Some departments take a lot of people um, just because of their work. Tip, in my opinion, it would kind of be less security clearance. You know what I mean? So um, I've talked about before, all the other positions I applied to were in like peace um, and that kind of area but I didn't hear back from any of them but I did get one in the Department of Global Communications so you know that's just worth noting I think there are a lot of internships in that department but I have no idea which is easiest to get into. Okay what time of year is the best to start or best to apply or anything again I don't know. I will say that a lot of people I met at like intern events started in February. Now I started in January but uh, most of these people I was meeting they all started February and they were all going until like May. So they were doing less time than I was which was typical. I'll talk about that another time. I was in a much longer internship but that seems to be a big starting point for people. Also I know at least in my unit so in like the group the exact group I was working with I was with UN webcast uh, web TV, so it's the live streaming service for the UN and the video archive. Uh, I'll link it down below if you want to have a little explore. But they, I was told by people there that they don't have interns typically uh, in late August and through September because of General Assembly bits and bobs. Obviously, it's just so busy, it's so difficult. Like, they will employ people short term for that and um, for them specifically because it's webcast, they need a lot of work. So um, I just know that for me personally and the people I met who started in February were in all different departments. It was not just in my own. I've also been asked what is YPP uh, that you hear people talking about. It is the Young Professionals Program and it's an exam or a series of exams I think uh, for you to start a career in the UN. The thing is not everybody can do YPP. You have to meet certain criteria and you have to be from a specific member state of that year that is underrepresented at the UN. So I've, since I've been like in college, I've looked at YPP a couple times. Ireland has never been on that list. Um, we're a tiny country, there's only like four and a half million people in Ireland. So if you're trying to think of like how well we're represented, it doesn't take that many of us to make us represented in that kind of sense. So um, if you want to do YPP, you can check if you're from like a another small country or more remote country, try something like that. Like YPP is really great and it's a way to start a great career in the UN. It also depends on what area you want to work in. But yeah, it's something I don't know that much about because I don't intend on participating and I don't think I ever could because I'm Irish. Do I have to study international relations? No. Uh, I came across a lot of people who had not studied international relations, um, people in journalism, data analytics, sociology, yeah. No, you don't have to study international relations. I didn't study international relations. I did study politics, uh, but I don't technically have the IOR add-on um, because I didn't take specific classes, so no. How long does it take to hear back after you apply and should you call? I wouldn't recommend calling. Uh, I think it would be kind of difficult to get someone's phone number because like the UN is very secure. Um, so I don't know about that. I don't know if that's the best move. Maybe it is in some industries, but for me, it's just not ever something I would consider doing. Maybe it's different in other countries. I don't know. But for me, I applied on the 1st of November and I heard back on the 18th of December for a 15th of January start date. So that's just my experience and that's all I can really know from but I would say that's kind of an average timeline. Advice for undergraduates who want to pursue a career in international relations or in foreign policy or you know things like that in that whole realm um, just international affairs. This is kind of 
Uh, I think I talked about this in my how to get an internship in the UN video, which I'll link here. Uh, I had a conversation with someone about this and you can do a lot or you can do a little. And personally, I just have a lot of opinions on this. Um, for me, I was on a competitive dance team through college. I was a joint major. Um, I was not part of any young political parties. I was not a part of any political groups or activism groups. Um, and I worked in retail and I turned out just fine. So I think there's absolutely a case for doing all of those things, but there's also a case for not. I didn't want my degree and my future career to also be my hobby. And I guess I'll talk about that more another time, but um, I would say you do you and what's for you won't pass you and I don't think of that in a lot of other things but I definitely do, I think I said this before as well, I do think of it in the career sense. So you should do you and if you don't get the internship and you think it's because you know you ran athlete, you did like athletics, you know, you were like a cross country runner or something and you're like, oh, I should have done all these other things. No, you shouldn't have, not if you love running. That's just my opinion on the whole thing. So I don't really have advice for undergrads uh, other than you do you. Visa. <sighs> I get this one sometimes and it kind of, I've again, I've mentioned it before. Uh, I have like drafted a blog post on it, but it's something that's taking a lot to get together. I actually had a lot of visa issues. It had nothing to do with the UN itself. It had to do with my visa provider and, you know, being sold a pup and stuff like that. So advice would be don't do a J1, like me, um, because they, the UN does not accept J1s anymore. You will probably end up with a B category visa, I believe, which is like a B1 or a B2. Um, you are responsible for obtaining it yourself. That is a big thing with the UN. Although I think it kind of does depend on your boss because mine was very helpful. And I had messages from other people who that was not the case. Um, you, if you were really in a pickle and who really, really wanted you, you might be offered a, G, a G4. Um, but that's pretty rare. I believe technically they don't do it for interns, but I've heard of it. And finally, did I work and how did I afford it? I did not work when I was there. My visa did not allow me to legally work. I totally could have worked legally, but for someone who wants to work in like international affairs and stuff like that, I just didn't think it was the best idea. I don't regret that either. I did have like pretty long work hours, but um, if you could work, I would definitely suggest working and you know, is it expensive to live in New York City? Oh, of course. You know, and how did I afford it? Barely. I get, that's a big drawback. Thankfully, I had a lot of savings. As I said, I was working full time for eight months and it was with the purpose of, I'm probably not gonna get a paid internship and I was right. So that is my second UN internship q and I hope it was somewhat helpful to you. Um, if you have more questions, follow me on Instagram. Periodically I will ask for questions in a little question box on my story because otherwise I will not see them. Your messages won't always show up because there's a lot of messages from like MLM people and creepy people and strange people just trying to message me and they all just get filtered into that one folder. So um, definitely ask more likely on stories or in comments, that's a better idea. But that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was a little bit helpful. I'll have, as I said, the playlist listed up above and I will link videos. Subscribe for more. Follow me on Instagram if you want at anime.yt and I will see you in my next video.